Hi everyone, good morning. Welcome to Sunday. It's Eric here with a relatively quick video blog because uh, we've got some interesting weather coming our way at the start of the work week. We had a little dusting of snow last night, a few patches of freezing drizzle led to some isolated slick spots. I think we're going to have more widespread slick travel as we go into Monday night, <clears throat> pardon me, and into the day on Tuesday. So let's get right to the details so this video isn't too long. Here's a look at the current radar and satellite loop as of uh, almost 10 o'clock this morning. Last night's uh, flurry activity pushing to our east. Now this activity, a lot of this isn't reaching the ground, but you might see a few snowflakes today. Inconsequential uh, snowflakes for us as we go into the uh, midday and the afternoon. The National Weather Service has hoisted a winter storm watch for parts of northeast Ohio and western PA. This clips <clears throat> Mercer County, also in effect for Crawford County, Ashtabula County, and Geauga County. My suspicion is that the Weather Service will probably issue a winter weather advisory for some of our other counties across the region, uh, either this afternoon or tonight, uh, but it would be in effect for tomorrow night and heading into the day on Tuesday. We've got what we call synoptic snow heading our way. In other words, generalized snow. Everyone's going to get some snow. And then we've got a lake effect set up uh, coming in as we uh, head into the day Tuesday and even into parts of Tuesday night. So let me show you what I mean. We'll take a look at some of the modeling here. Uh, again, today, no problems other than a couple of flurries. We have a lake effect band that sets up tonight up along the lake shore, up into uh, parts of Geauga County, Lake County, Ashtabula County, up towards the Erie PA. Anyone traveling in that direction can run into some snow tonight, but the uh, wind direction is too west-southwest for that to be much of a problem for us tonight. There could be some flurries around tonight. I can't rule out a few isolated slick spots. It's going to be a cold night with just a touch of snow or some flurries fall, uh, falling tonight. Again, that band might wobble a little bit south and give us some small accumulations in uh, in the I-80 corridor and up towards Route 87 overnight tonight. But that's just an appetizer. Again, isolated slick spots tonight. The main event is tomorrow night, after a mostly dry Monday aside from some uh, flurries here and there. It's tomorrow night. I'm going to fast forward to midnight tomorrow night. This is Monday night into Tuesday morning at midnight. Uh, some snow approaching from the west. And uh, the most problematic time will probably be real late Monday night and, and more so Tuesday morning. This is three in the morning, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock. Um, that's our band of steady, everyone gets it kind of snow. And then as we get into the daylight hours on Tuesday, this will start to transition into more of a lake effect kind of a, of a setup with a northwest wind off the lakes. These bands will be able to penetrate pretty far to the south. This won't just be a, a Geauga and Ashtabula County deal that some of these bands will meander down into our main viewing area uh, during the day on Tuesday. How much snow are we talking about? Uh, we're going to work uh, at a map this afternoon after we get some new model data in, but my suspicion is this will be a widespread one to three inch kind of a snowfall with maybe a few more inches on top of that in the lake effect uh, during the day on Tuesday and perhaps into parts of Tuesday night. So some, uh, some places in, in Trumbull and Mercer in particular might end up with a total somewhere close to six inches uh, out of this, but as a general rule for the most places I think a good one to three will will uh, will be pretty common with this. Again, mostly Monday night into uh, parts of Tuesday. So could there be some school adjustments Tuesday morning? You bet. Uh, I'm not in the business of predicting what the schools are going to do, and I certainly don't uh, make those decisions. Uh, that's up to each individual school district. But uh, my, you know, it makes sense that there would be some adjustments uh, Tuesday morning. And then here comes the the core of the cold. This will be the worst of the cold uh, Tuesday night into Wednesday into Wednesday night and perhaps into Thursday night as well. This three-day period, Wednesday through Friday, looking real cold. But look what happens. We fall out uh, during the weekend, next weekend, before the next Arctic air mass probably arrives just in time for Christmas. It's too early to start talking about a white Christmas or chances of snow or anything like that, but the pattern looks pretty cold again as we go towards Christmas itself. The weekend before, that would be next weekend, does not look very cold at all. In fact, pretty nice thaw heading our way. All right, I'll have more updates later on today. Meteorologist A.J. Harris has you covered on uh, 21 News at 6 and 11 this evening. I'll uh, chime in on social media a couple of times today as we get some new model information in. And of course, I'll have full updates, blogs, videos, you name it, on Monday ahead of uh, this uh, somewhat minor event, but it's one of the first of the year. So uh, I expect there'll be some problems on the roads Monday night and into the day on Tuesday.